on the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Hi by Carmel! Astronaut 13 by Mindsap, Nintendo by M. Fernando, Asarash 3 by Serpunge, and Booty T2 by Jonathan GD. The song is starting to get hard. <laughs> We're only on day five. Today, for this fifth demon of Christmas, we're coming back to one that I gave up on last year because I failed at 98% on it. I spent a lot of attempts trying to do this level over the years. And last year, I think I spent like 3,000 attempts trying to beat it and I just couldn't. I don't know if it was the stress of the series that got to me, but I just like, I just couldn't do it. Like I was afraid of the level and so I dropped it. I had to drop it and I put in the caverns instead, but I really want to come back to this and I really want to beat it. Now, I have changed to 240 hertz, as a lot of you know. There is a 240 hertz bug in the level that I'm going to show you. So this is the 240 hertz bug right there. Right there you die. Right there, you fall down and you die, no matter what. And so what I've done is... I did change it to 144 hertz, but for some reason I was still dying there, even though I changed my monitor to 144. Um, so what I've done is I've made a copyable, and that is the only part that I changed. I just changed that part to make it like 240 hertz friendly. It's the best I could do, because I couldn't get it to run. Now there is another bug later that's also in 144 hertz, that's like at the end of the UFO duel. Um, I didn't change that part because I actually found a way to get around the bug just through normal gameplay. Like if I go through there and it's uneven, I can like not push a button and I jump off of a slope and I can like recorrect myself. So that bug's not really important, but the bug in the dual cube that I just showed you was like game breaking. Like there was no way around it. I had to go in and change that part. All I did is I moved the platform I was dying to just a little bit over to the right. And I swear that is the only part I changed. So I have to do this in a copyable, which is unfortunate, but I mean, I'm not gonna get completion for the demon. I won't, but it does, doesn't really matter now, does it? Because all I wanna do is I just wanna, I just wanna beat the level. I don't care if I get like an extra demon on my profile, that doesn't like, that doesn't bother me. I just, I just wanna win. I just wanna put this level behind me. It's been long enough, it's been hanging over my head for a year. This level was originally gonna be my secret 13th demon of Christmas, but... Oops, I just clicked off the sc- God damn it! I clicked off the screen, that's so mean. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I ate some really spicy dinner too. <laughs> my mouth is like still a little bit on fire. <laughs> I hope it doesn't distract me. Boom, 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 boom. Hi! Wow, get it. I was gonna say, pretty good first attempt. God, because those, the first parts of the dual wave are really hard. I mean, the dual wave is probably the hardest part of the level for sure. It basically, this level just boils down to playing the first 40% over and over again, trying to get past the dual wave, and then after you get past the dual wave, you start getting worried and nervous, and you're like, oh my god, a chance! <laughs> and then you mess up on the ball. <laughs> and sometimes you squeeze through. Um, but you know, I... Since coming back and practicing this, I don't know if it's because I've gotten better at the game, but I fig I found I was a little more consistent with the level. Maybe it's just because I have played the level so much in the past. Like, it just stuck with me. <laughs> but I found that I was better at it, you know? Like, this shouldn't take me that long. I mean, at least I hope it doesn't. Now that I'm coming in with, like, a fresh attitude. Because last year, I was, real I was, like, scared of this level. Like, my attitude, I, I was pretty miserable trying to play it. Well, I started with a positive attitude last year. Because I really like this level. I do. I really like this level, but... Um, it's, it's a bit cruel. The ending's a little cruel. Hi. I died to the same part again! That's so... Yo! Come on, Eric! So, so yeah, I have a lot of history with this level. I do. I streamed this a lot last year when I was doing the 12 Demons of Christmas, but I was, I gotta say, I was a little bit busier last year, and so the 12 Demons of Christmas were like, they were a little more stressful for me, I think. I think this year I have a bit more time. Last year I was doing two private lessons, two private uh, English lessons, and also teaching at a public school uh, twice a week, sometimes three times a week. And so uh, I had a little bit more stress. I'm not teaching at a public school anymore, and also I'm only doing one private lesson. So it's like, I have like lots more extra time to kind of practice levels, I guess. So I'm not as worried. 
Although, I have been trying to get ready for the Demons of Christmas by like pre-making videos. Except I'm almost like all caught up now, so. Hi. So it's basically in real time now. Like, this level that I'm recording right now is literally like a day before I'm supposed to upload it. So, from now on, I'm doing these levels in real time. Like, all the levels I made before, all the uh, videos I made before, they're already all up. <laughs> it's now like clutch time where I'm doing this daily, so. What? What was I thinking? Okay, let's go. Hi. I think I'm gonna have to turn the light off on my face. I'm not gonna lie, it's like, I'm trying to look at the monitor like really focused, but the light is just blinding in front of my face. When I do like easier levels or even like, uh, you know, like hard demon levels, the light on my face isn't so bad, but when I have to like do this like butt clenching stuff, like in High for example, where it's so hard, <laughs> the hard parts are really hard. Wait, 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 I could just do this. I'm gonna be the coolest goddamn Santa Claus you've ever seen. I don't know, this might make the dark part hard though. <laughs> I might not be able to see that part. <laughs> I hope I can still see. Okay, come on, please let me still see. Boom, boom. Oh, I can still see a bit. Oh man, it's still like, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit darker. Oh my god, I almost fluffed up there. Okay, dun, 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 dun. Jeez, man. Oh, come on, I didn't hold it down long enough. This part is much nicer, though, with the glasses, for sure. Fuck. Okay, the sunglasses were a bad idea. <laughs> because on the dark part, I can't really see that well. <laughs> I just died to it. So we're going no sunglasses, but I had to turn the light off that's on my face. So, like, half of my face is gonna be dark. You may as well just call me, like, Mysterious Santa Claus. Because that light, I have two lights, and one of them is, like, right in front of my face. Which is really nice when I'm not doing something I really need to focus super intently on, like Geometry Dash, like playing a horror game. Well, you know, playing easier levels, but man, no, hi. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, cool. That one I thought I let go. All of my deaths to the wave part have been so close. Oh, baby. Oh, I pressed it way too late. Those ball timings are really hard, too. I mean, the whole end of the level's hard, but, like, I find that the hardest parts of the end of the level is the wave, and then just this part of the ball. The other parts in the ball are easy. Just this little corridor right here is tough. No! The last one! I don't know what it is, but I always find like the first three timings are pretty consistent and then the last one is the one I always die to. And I don't know if it's like I'm pressing it too early because I'm like panicky or it's actually just like a little bit more to the right than the others. I don't know! Either way, headset's coming off. Focus mode, no music. Just my, just my Santa hat. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Are you kidding me? The first jump, I did it too high? <laughs> no! I didn't think the first jump could be too high. Because, like, once you go in there, it's pretty tough. It's, it's not that hard, but once you get in there, you gotta really, like, straighten yourself out. Yeah, the segments in the last half of the level, like, in the orange part, I guess, there's four segments. There's, like, the wave, and then the ball, and then the UFO, and then the robot, and they progressively get easier and easier. And then the ending's really hard, and the ending's kind of BS. But they progressively get easier and easier, the orange parts. Yeah, see, oh my god, I knew I just pressed that. That was just the tiniest little bit too early. But they have to be perfect. Ooh, but I felt it as soon as I pressed it, I knew I was dead. Oh man, we're getting there. <laughs> No! I pressed it just a smidgen too early and my taps were so light. 
I thought I had that. It was just a smidgen too early. God damn. That would have been to the flying part. That was the very last jump that could have killed me. All the other jumps in the robot section are so easy. Cool. That's so tight. Come on. That was just like every time I die there, it's at the very top of the jump. Oh, it's so frustrating. It's like, it's just one pixel away from being a good jump. Ooh, man, that's tough. Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe I did it! It only took me 43 minutes today, holy shit! Uh, my heart was about to explode at the end there. Oh my god, oh my god. I thought I didn't have it. My ship was going all over the place through those portals. I was like, trying to recon- Whoa! Damn, son. Damn. <laughs> Oh my god, I played this level so much last year, and I just couldn't do it. Oh my god, I'm so happy, and I know this is just a copyable, so it's like, it's not the real thing, Eric. It is, I only changed one thing in here. Oh, okay. So anyways, on this copyable, 173 attempts, and on this part right here, my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so like... I'm so ecstatic. I didn't expect to beat this so quickly. I thought I was gonna have to do this in multiple recordings over the next like couple days. I fluked it. God damn. And so plus 4,700 attempts here. So almost 5,000 attempts over the years, of course. And I played this so much last year that I think this is what I think happened. I played it so much last year, and last year I was doing the 12 Demons of Christmas in real time every day, and I was really stressed out. I was like, oh my god, I can't beat this level, it's putting my schedule far behind, and I'm messing up, I'm letting people down, and that like added stress to doing this, like just made it so like, I was panicky and I couldn't finish it, and I was getting really angry. Um, but this year I went in with like a fresh mentality, I was like, okay, let's like, let's calm down a bit, I know I can do this, let's go. And I friggin' did it. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have done it. I wish I could have done it here, but the 240 hertz glitch, I couldn't find a way around it. So hopefully with 2.2 when it comes out, like there's gonna be a way to set your FPS in the game and to make it so there's no like variances in like hertz and stuff. It, it would be nice. I don't know if that's common, but it would certainly be a nice feature because some of the levels I've experienced glitches. I've experienced like in Nint Nintendo, the, the music sync was off in 240 hertz, you know? So I don't know. Anyways, wow. Wow, yeah. Insane demon. Stressful ending. My friggin' heart almost exploded there. Oh my god, it almost exploded. Hi by Carmel. I've wanted to do it forever. It's a, f it's a really fun level. It's just last year, like I said, I was really stressed out and I couldn't do it. Um, I do like a lot of Carmel's levels. I like a lot of the gameplay. A lot of people call them kind of weird sometimes, but they're really fun. Like Lit Fuse is one of my favorite levels. Fantastic. And hi, it's not one of my favorites, but it's like, it's fun and I'm glad I did it. You know, I was really consistent at that wave once. Like it took me about 30 attempts of dying to that wave. 
And then like, after 30 attempts, I was like, boom, I was nailing it. Like every time in the ball part, I started nailing it every time too. And then the UFO part, as soon as I was able to get that like decent, it was just boom, got the, the robots easy, the robots a cinch, got that. And I fluked the end. That end is hard, okay? The dual ship. I don't know what it is, but the weight of the dual ship in the end feels weird. And I think it's because it's not like a straight quarter. It kind of goes up and down, but it's like deceiving. It doesn't really look like it goes much up and down. So when you're going through there and then the last corridor, it's not straight. It's like the kind of, it's slanted a bit. And so it messes you up because it looks like it's straight. But if you fly through it, like it's straight, you'll end up off course and you will die. Holy shit. We did it. We goddamn did high for the fifth day of Christmas. And I wanted it to be the fifth day because it goes beautifully into the song. Hi, my karma. Right? Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Super stoked to have done it. Uh, I hope you guys are excited for the sixth day of Christmas. It will be up tomorrow for sure. I don't think it's going to be a level quite as hard as high, but it should be a good level. It'll be great. So check it out. All right. <laughs> I still have yet to do a Christmas level two. Oh my God. Hi, it's done. It's done. I'm so happy. Anyways, leave a like for my troubles. I'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.